Question 3. A velocity vector is shown. So you will expect some resolution of vector being asked in paper 1. What are the components of velocity vector in the northerly and easterly direction? Okay, so we're going to have to resolve this into the north and east or x and y component. And when we resolve something like this, we're going to split this into one horizontal and one vertical component. Okay, so the shortcut I think about is if you are beside the angle, this will be 75 cos 30. Cos cos theta is side over hypotenuse. Okay, so cos 30 is the length of this vertical blue arrow divided by 75. And this one would be 75 sine 30 because it's opposite angle. Okay, so in case you need that triangle just as a refresh, I can combine these two vectors, right? This north direction can be pointing up, okay? Then followed by east. And these two, the resultant will be here. So the ability to combine into resultant is also important. They don't always ask you to split. Sometimes they will ask you to combine, right? So if I look at this, this is 35 degree, sorry, 30 degree. And the velocity is 75. So I think you can find the length of the both, both of the purple arrows. Because what you will have is you will say something like cos 30 is 75. Let's say this is Vn for V naught. So Vn over 75. So this was how we get the velocity in the northerly direction at 75 cos 30. Okay, so you take cosine and then you repeat again for sine 30. Let's say this is velocity in the easterly direction divided by 75 cos sine is side oppos opposite over hypotenuse. Alright, so this is pretty straightforward in case you need a refresher. But if not, you may be able to just press your calculator and proceed. In fact, I can proceed very quickly because 75 sine 30 is 75 times half. All right. And this will give me 37.5, which happens to be 38. So this means in the east direction or the easterly direction, the velocity is 38 rounded to 2 SF. So I will only take 38. But the other one cannot be 38 one because this angle is not 45. So this is wrong. So the answer is C. Or I guess you could press your calculator and check. This one should be 75 cos 30. All right, so that's it for question three. It's a pretty straightforward one.